So here we have my client, a journalist who openly criticized the Mexican government, uh, and in particular the military, and was threatened to be executed. He comes to our nation, which stands for freedom of expression, freedom of the press, <coughs> and what do we do? We deny him asylum. We deny him his due process. The judge that dis uh, dismissed his uh, opportunity for asylum wrote that uh, he didn't feel the sufficient case was made that he's a journalist. There is no doubt he is a journalist. The judge also at the same time said that he would be protected by the military if he's, if he's deported to Mexico. We believe it is the military that will kill Emilio if he's deported to Mexico. And so admitting that a journalist like Emilio is not only not safe in his own country, but would be killed by the very group that's supposed to protect him, would expose the tremendous hypocrisy of the Mexican and U.S. war on drugs. What the judge did not consider, the judges will not, is that when Emilio entered the country, he continued denouncing. Post-entry political opinion is legitimate. And they're delegitimizing his continuing resistance and outspokenness while in the U.S. And that's the tragedy here, is that they're punishing you for being silent there, for, for, for denouncing in Mexico, and they're punishing Emilio now for continuing to speak out and negating that political opinion. That political opinion was not addressed in the decision.